Welcome to another video lecture. Today we will discuss about the beams having two redundant. So even if you didn't watch the previous section, please go and watch the previous lectures. Okay. So already we discussed about the beams like cantilever, continuous beam having only one redundant member. Today we will discuss about the beam having two redundant member. So let us take the question. So here the question given us a fixed end support and here one roller end and here also one roller end. The distance are also mentioned 4 meter, 2 meter and 6 meter. Here the loads values are 60 kilo newton and 20 kilo newton per meter. These are some of the load values are also given. So please listen the video very carefully. Okay, so many steps are here. Okay, so what is the what is our main intention or what is our first step? First of all, we have to calculate how many redundant members are here. So in this case, here three reactions, here one and here one. So total five reactions. So our equation is R minus three. Five minus three equals two. So there will be two redundant members. So next we have to identify which member to be removed. So in this case, we can consider this. If we remove this B and C, then it will become a cantilever beam. So then it will be very easy for us to analyze. So here we will remove this roller from B and C. Then you have to consider this as a cantilever beam. So when you are applying this, please listen to these three steps. When you are applying this 60 kilo newton and 20 kilo newton per meter, what is going to happen? When you are going to apply this external loads like 60 kilo newton and 20 kilo newton per meter, what is going to happen? There will be deflection at B and there will be deflection at C. So we will write down as delta 1B and this as delta 1C. Okay, let us assume these are some of the deflections happened over this B and C. Then, then the second case, what is going to happen? We all remove the all external loads. Then only considering this RB, the redundant member. Then, there, then also there will be some displacement in the upward directions. So we will consider this as delta 2B and here delta 2C. Okay. Then again we are going to consider the third case. We are applying only RC or redundant member RC only. Then here the deflection at B will be delta 3B and delta 3C. These names are only for easiness. Okay. So finally we can write down total deflection of curve due to these external loads equals to the to the redundant member forces. Okay. So here we can write down the equation as delta 1B equals delta 2B plus delta 3B and delta 1C equals delta 2C plus delta 3C. Once again I will explain the total loads given us 60 and 20 kN per meter. Then there will be some displacement occur over B and C. Okay. So that is written as delta 1B and delta 1C. If you are applying RB only along only RB, then what is the displacement delta 2B and delta 2C. Then, if you are applying RC, the deflections will be in the upward directions. In both cases, it will be in the upward direction. So, here delta 3B and here delta 3C. So, this will be equal. Okay, external loads, how much deflection happen over the joint B will be equal to the redundant member also. That is written here in this equation. So, these two, two equations are also very important. Okay, so then we will go through the next step. What is our next step? What do we have to find out? We are going to apply the unit load method. First, you have to find out the deflection at the B and then after C. We have to calculate using M, M by EA into DX. Integral M in multiplied by M by EA into dx. Okay, so considering this external loads, what is the speciality of why we are using this unit load method? So such that we can consider these two loads at the same time. Okay, otherwise you can use m by ea diagram also. Then you have to 
consider this load separately 61 stand or 620 kilo newton per meter then coming to the coming to the unit load first of all we are going to check out with the bc member bd and ad we are we are going to divide this members into different members bc bd and ad and in the first case we are going to consider this c as our origin and second case b as our origin and the third case d as our origin okay or you can select c as your for origin or and in, in this two case also you can consider c as your origin so for our easiness we are going to use this b and here d as our origin so the limits are also given 0 to 6 0 to 2 0 to 4 okay then what is some if you are taking a section over here if you are going to take a section over here what will be the moment we know that the total load is 20 kg and so minus 20 into x then how much distance will be x by 2 so the value will be minus 10 x square then coming to take the section at here this is your x then what will be the value the total force will be 20 multiplied by total distance will be 120 okay so that is the force here 20 multiplied by 6 that is 120 120 is acting here then what is the distance here this will be 3 so the value will be minus 120 into x plus 3 then coming to the next section you are going to again going to consider the next section what will be the value minus 20 into this part this dv distance is 2 which is given in the question so total distance will be x plus y then considering this minus 60x the value you can add up here so this is the procedure i hope it is also clear okay first of all you are going to consider bc portion second bd and the third one is ad why we are not going to consider from this side you can either consider from this side also then you have to calculate the values and here ra and the moment also you have to calculate so for our easiness we started from our right side or this three end then you are going to consider this m1 m1 means what if you are applying unit load at to b if you are going to apply unit load after removing all those external loads you are going to apply you are going to apply a unit load over here 1 kN so there is no other external loads here you are only applying this 1 kN at to b so when you are applying this 1 kN in the what is the moment that is mentioned by m1 so if you are going to take a section here x there is nothing no forces are here so the value will be zero then you are going to consider a section here the value will be minus x if you are going to consider here a section x the value will be minus 1 into x plus 2 i hope it is also clear then you are going to consider the m2 value m2 means what when you are apply a unit load at c what is the the moment moment in, in along each part so if you are applying section cutting section x the minus x and if you are going to take a section here x then will be x plus 6 only one kn is acting here here minus x plus 8 right so then what is our step you have to integrate all those things then you have to integrate all those things so delta 1 b the deflection happened when you are applying this 60 and 20 at b will be if you are integrating you have to multiply this capital m with this small m1 the value you will get is finally this is the value so please do the calculations okay if we if we did the calculation the video will be very large okay then similarly you have to calculate this value also delta 1c delta 1c means you have to multiply with this capital m with this small m2 so we will get this is also value okay please cross check with your calculation values also then coming to the next case 
already i mentioned about the m by ea diagram so if you are going to apply the, then we are going to consider when you are applying the external redundant force when you are going to apply this external redundant force what is the moment already we did so many problems related with this values okay so what is the values if you are applying an rb force here the moment will be in this way okay this distance will be 6 so you have to calculate this area so half into 6 rb by ei here the value will be r 6 rb by ei multiplied by 6 then take down 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 into this distance 6 so that is calculated here then you will get 72 into rb by ei similarly you will calculate the delta 2c you will obtain the this values please do the calculations similarly delta 3b and delta 3c is also calculated please do the check out the calculations you only just want to divide this triangle if you are applying an rb force then what is the displacement at delta 2c you only taking down the listen if you are applying an rb force here the total deflection will be this one at c at c at c okay listen listen and delta 3b also similarly calculate sometimes you have to divide this figure into this figure into triangle and the rectangle then only you can calculate okay the same procedure is repeated here then after calculating these all values you have to come to these equations again you have to come to again these equations you have to substitute these values and then take down your calculator and there is an option equations if you have given an x plus y equal to 3 and an x plus y equal to 5 this is you can solve this type of equation in your calculator so just substitute this value and you will obtain the values as rc and rb as 47.62 and 122.06 respectively and also you can find out this ra and also mb okay this is the procedure if you given a redundant two redundant number forces okay i hope it is also clear okay thank you